Hello guys, I am back. We are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on your location at this time of the day. Happy weekend to you all. Uh, it's a beautiful Friday morning. Okay, guys, um, we already know it is no longer news. INEC had declared Tinibu uh, the president-elect of um, February 25 um, election. But that is, by the way, because as I'm talking to you, Labour Party and the uh, PDP and then the, I believe other political party will also challenge the uh, results in the court. But um, what will be the outcome? A lot of people believe that, oh, the judiciary, uh, they are the one that own judiciary. No, I really do not believe that because even Peter Obi himself, when he was the governor of Anambra State, um, the court did justice for him. But however, um, let us listen to what um, Yunusa Tanko have to say. Uh, he's the spokesman of uh, Obidati Presidential Campaign Council. Uh, they hope Peter will be have when this matter goes to court because a lot of people believe that there was irregularities and then the um, INEC themselves also break their own rules, their own guideline uh, during the announcement of that result. But however, let us listen to what... Um, Yunusa Tango have to say um, the outcome, what befall on Peter B and Tinibu when this case finally uh, goes to court. Okay, so if you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. Election had come and gone. I believe everybody should, um, you know, be calm, expect the outcome of the March 11 governorship uh, election. All right, guys, um, let us listen to Yunusa Tango. Uh, the hope of Peter will be if this case finally goes to court. Well, what's your response to that? Did you check all? section 60 or section 5 of the Electoral Act? It clearly says that INEC can use this electronic means of device of actually transmission of results. The Viva machine is very, very clear. It says the Viva machine can really identify your name and identify your finger to know that you are the person that is actually voting. And at the same time, the Beaver machine has the performance function of transmitting or transforming the result to the, elect uh, to the INEX server directly. What that implies simply is that the machine is used for dual purposes and to transmit results. What is INEX chairman told everybody to the guy that the Beaver machine will snap this particular result and send it directly to the server. And then the question you want to ask is that at the point in which there were three elections, Federal House of Reps, Senate, and then the presidential election. This same machine, or this architecture uh, machine, was used to transmit results almost instantly. People were started viewing the results of the uh, House of Reps election and the Senate, but then the presidential election was missing. The same election on the same day. That created all kind of suspicion that we saw, and that made the whole uh, uh, processes a sham election, an unacceptable one. Well, has there been any kind of... Uh data you got from the field that uh, doesn't tally with what has been Oh, sure. Oh, given. sure. Because our situation room, in collaboration with all our other uh, groups who are interested in making sure that we have a credible election, are able to collect all the results. We have all the authentic results. Don't forget, there are 16 or 15 political parties who run for the same election. And everybody has one result or the other of that particular same election. And if you're having a clean and fair election, this result that belongs to every political party should tally with what INEC is sending to the server. It's simple. There's no any uh, like a science in it. What we are saying is that the process is flawed. It falls below standard from any imagination whatsoever. That is what we are challenging. Now, with this challenge, I mean, of course, you do have the right to challenge the outcome of the election. But is it not a massive distraction from the battle that still lies ahead. I mean, the governorship election is around the corner, March uh, 11, the next Saturday after, the, after this one. Can you pull off the same magic oh. in places like Lagos, for example, and the other states that you actually made a very, very good showing? Now, what Can we you pull are, off the same magic? What we are doing right, right. now is that giving hope to the hopeless, believing that, yes, we know we won the election, and everybody knew that this particular process was flawed. But what we are saying at the same time is that we know that it's important also to win the subsequent elections. Hoping that when we win the subsequent election, that will strengthen us the more 
to do whatever we are challenging in the process of court. So for all obedient and those who believe that there's a need for us to change the system should please and please go out en mass. In fact, if you are thinking that you voted in on the 25th, now rethink that you are voting more better this time around, especially for the Labour Party. This is a very serious call because we need to change this system. We need to give hope to the Nigerian people that believe in that Nigeria can really move from the circle of uh, poverty that we find ourselves. And in changing the system, uh, are you worried about uh, your members that are going to the National Assembly mm -hmm. staying the whole journey with the Labour Party? You have about uh, is it six? six. Mm -hmm. Elected? Yes. There are even more going to come, possibly. And we are having them, and they are going to toe the line of the level. That is why we need to be strengthened in all of the ramifications in the election to ensure that we have enough seats. As you see now, if you look at it, there's not going to be any control over the ha House. We will play a game changer in that particular assembly. So your party is going to court. We've heard that much. Uh, when exactly uh, is that? Have you set the ball rolling? Uh, on that, and are you confident in the Nigerian judiciary that you will get the kind of justice you're expecting? You know, for those who have not been following the history of Peter Obi, they should now, because at the time he won election in, 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 when he was governor of Anambra, he won it through the court processes. Today, I had a renewed hope in him. Today, he addressed all of us, and he told us that they just returned him to his home, where he's a master at that particular game. So all obedience should go home and rest that we are going to challenge this particular cause. Our headmaster, the person destined to rule this particular country, Peter Gregory Obi and Deti Baba Ahmed are not losing hope and you should not lose hope. We are going to go all the hog and by the grace of God he will be returned as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria based on the instrumentality of law which he has won clean clear. And quickly, are your fire chase, 